Oh, there's some pizza shops in California that accept Tide Pods. Detergent pods. Tide Pods. Tide Pods. This brand new form of cash. There's nothing to trust. Will they replace hard currency? Probably not. It's still an extremely niche market. And it is a kind of holy grail of payments. You just have to trust the math. And now, an acting nomadic news bulletin with investigative reporter Roger That. Everyone is sticking Tide Pods in their mouth but a few are sticking them in their wallets. What, what? I just thought you were gonna say something else. This is serious news, Ari. The network has my testes in a vice and you're treating this like it's some town hall meeting. Okay, I'm sorry. You asked, are Tide Pods the next big investment? Before I can roger that, I had to see for myself. This crazy Tide Pod fad has recently led Tide to begin to remove Tide Pods entirely from Tide Pod shelves. A tweet on Wednesday, January 24th confirms, The disappearance of Tide Pods are leading certain types of investors to take notice. We were able to catch up with one late last evening. I call my rig the Wonder Ball. Do you consider yourself to be a Tide Pod investor? I would consider myself to be a product investor. I've made hundreds, thousands off of Kinder Eggs, Wonder Balls, Beanie Babies. Anything can be a currency if there's a limited supply of it. What about Bitcoin? <laughs> I make real investments. Guys like me call cryptos Tickle Me Elmos. And it's after Christmas. Tickle Me Cryptos. The Tickle Me recession was real, but bubbles are the real question. Are Tide Pods the shit for the long-term investor, or are they just making suds? We were able to catch up with an employee during the fifth lunch break of his shift. They asked to remain anonymous. Tide Pods are way better than shitcoin. Nobody even knows what cryptocurrencies are. I do. Or how to compare those little pesos. I do, but I wouldn't. Tide Pods, the register is the currency exchange. There's no legislation stopping it because every transaction is taxed. Supply and demand and the hashtag free market means that if you can find them, buy them. Lots of DPIs like Daddy and me are looking at Cascade. Um, and da DPIs? Detergent pod investors. We're looking at other detergent pod currencies that the public is about to bite down oh, on. Diamond? Agnes really wants to take her lunch uh, break, too. I don't really work here. I'm just doing research for Daddy. Do you invest in any other pod currencies? I keep a small stake of Cascade and Downy Pods. It's a little bit speculatory, but Oregon just opened up. The trails are blazing, the oxen are strong, and no one in the party has cholera. <clears throat> I think you mean cholera. The point is, I'm gonna buy me a shitload of Tide Pods. You could always just use them as detergent. Sure could, I guess. Sure could. Are detergent pods detergent? I think so. Are they the next big currency? Maybe. Should people stop sticking these in their mouth? Roger That. Signing off. This is Roger That. Thanks for watching. The network wants my ass. Subscribe so that I get to keep my job. That son of a bitch, Ken. <gasps> oh, hi, Ken. <laughs> Roger, what are you up to? Just saying goodbye to the viewers. Goodbye. Subscribe.